terms of uh, the design of the F-Type Coupe, we designed the convertible first deliberately because we found through experience that actually if you get the convertible resolved early, it's much easier to then grow the coupe from it. Uh, and obviously in the case of F-Type, we have the superbly proportioned convertible that when you put a cabin onto the car, just becomes even more extreme in terms of its proportions. So, for example, the roof line extends right to the trailing edge of the car, which really positions the cabin rearwards on the vehicle and gives it this very extreme front engine, rear wheel drive, two-seater sports car proportion which makes the car quite unique. So it's got a very, very dramatic profile, which is very different from anything else. Well, it, it's inevitable that, you know, people will reference this car to the E-Type, and I think subconsciously, we all kind of think of the E-Type when we think about Jaguar sports cars. It was one of those things that we never consciously had one in the studio and referred to it, but in the backs of our minds, we all know that car so well. And yeah, some of the unique things about E-Type are reinterpreted in a modern way on F-Type Cooper. And to be honest, it's incredibly exciting times. I mean, to be working on cars like this, the design team, as you can imagine, are so energized right now. We said, you know, if we could design the kind of cars that would be the posters on teenage kids' walls, because that's what we did when we were teenagers, then we would have achieved our mission. And I think F-Type Coupe could well, could well be that poster on the teenager's wall. I think emotionally we've always wanted to do a car like this. When Tata took over the business though, they gave us the green light to go ahead and do it. And actually, Mr. Tata himself was very instrumental in making these cars happen. He was very passionate about it. So he's been a, a driving force behind F-Type. F-Type, and especially the Coupe, is the halo product for the Jaguar brand. You know, this is our poster child. It's good that we have some of the design DNA of this car filtering through to our, our other cars in the range. But I think you'll find moving forwards, there'll be a mixture of elements from, from the cars. And let's talk, example, for example, about the grille shape. F-Type has a grille shape based on the XJ grille, which is also an XF. We did that deliberately because we want the Jaguar grille to become a recognized element of Jaguar's face across the range. So you'll see that grille changing in proportion depending on the car it's applied to, but that is going to be the face of Jaguar moving forwards. Likewise, the arched eyebrow over the lamps and the J-Blade daylight running lamp that F-Type has, those are going to be the kind of features you'll see in our cars moving forwards. The biggest challenge for us is because we revealed the CX-16 show car here at Los Angeles two years ago, everybody saw that car and said that's the car they're going to do. So the big challenge for, for the production team was to deliver a car that was as close as possible to CX-16. And the challenges that you face in that respect are, for example, the rollover legislation in the US, that changed while we were developing the car. The car needed to be a lot stronger in rollover. So actually engineering it to meet those new requirements while still keeping that beautiful low roof line, that's a good example of the kind of challenges we face. But I think, I hope you'll agree, the car looks very, very close to CX-16. And that was, that was the objective for us. Right now, Jaguar is growing so quickly, we just want to investigate and understand all of the opportunities that we might be able to, to, to get into.